How's it going everybody? I'm Jason of Jason's Rome here and today I'm here bringing you guys my USFL Week 3 Power Rankings. Let's just dive right into this. Before we do that, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below two things. Number one, what do you think of the new camera angle? I've been trying it out this week. I think I like it, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Number two, let me know your power rankings down below for the USFL heading into week three. I want to hear what you guys have to say, and I will get back to every single one of you guys who leaves a comment. At number eight, we have the Pittsburgh Maulers. This team is absolutely atrocious. They have no offense. They barely put 300 and over 300 yards of offense combined in two weeks. This team is absolutely sucks. The defense is all right, but the offense just does not match up at all. At number seven, we have the Houston Gamblers. This team still struggling, 0-2. Playing decently, I guess, but overall just not looking great in the grand scheme of things. This team really is lacking a lot, and they are just not playing up to what they need to be playing right now. Number six, I have the Memphis Showboats down two spots from last week as this team just got absolutely obliterated by the Stallions. 42-2. to two. I was tempted to put them a bit lower, and David put them a bit lower, but at the same time, I just feel like they are the better team over Houston right now. They have a lot more potential. Their ceiling's a lot higher than Houston right now. And number five, we have the New Jersey Generals down two spots once again as well. This team looking all right, but not really the greatest. I mean, I, I want to see more from this team. They're playing decently. They were able to destroy the Maulers in the fourth quarter. They played, Berm or they played Philadelphia close, but Philadelphia's not looking anywhere near as good as they were last year either. So New Jersey, I'm just, I'm not sold on this unit right now at all. At number four, I have the Philadelphia Stars. Speaking of the Stars, they are down two from last week. This team, I mean, they're all right. They do have a good high ceiling, but they are playing closer to the floor than they are the ceiling right now. I really want to see more from this team. They're playing well. I mean, they're playing all right. They're playing definitely like a playoff contention team, especially in the North, but I just don't know what to make of this team. I mean, really... Philadelphia just has not been strong as I want to see them this year. At number three, we have the New Orleans Breakers up three spots from last week. This team looking really good right now, playing really hot football, really good football, really looking like a dangerous team. You do not want to play the Breakers right now. And right now they're trying to improve to 3-0, and but they are looking really good. They very well could. Who do they play? But they play Birmingham. Never mind. So they're not going to improve to 3-0. and But they're still a solid team. At number two, we have the Michigan Panthers being a big surprise, up three spots from last week. This team, 2-0, and oh, just playing some strong, strong football. Playing and winning against Houston. Who did they play last week? Last week, we look at uh, Michigan. They beat Philadelphia 24-10. to They are winning by decent margins, and they are playing some good football right now. I really like this team. I am really high on Michigan right now. This team is potentially dangerous to take the North. Especially because who else do they have in competition? And that leaves at number one for the second straight week in a row, your Birmingham Stallions. This team absolutely manhandling the showboats this week. Completely pantsing them on national television. 40 point blowout. I mean, that, that just goes to show you. This team is really good. You do not want to play Birmingham. They are scary dangerous to play right now. Well, I think that's about going to do it for me today. If you guys did like, don't forget to smash like and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. We're trying to hit 400 subs by the start of the NFL season. If we could do that, that would be absolutely amazing. And I guess with that, check out the video over here. This is what YouTube thinks you should watch next. And I will see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.